Hi everyone, my name's Sophia. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So in this video I want to talk about the more about what's going on with the shift of the two worlds. I want to kind of break that down a little bit more. I want to also go into how unique and special you are and how this world really works so what the planets are trying to do is try to make most humanity understand that the simplest way to say it is that this isn't real most people i get it can't understand that concept and also there's no time which once again most people can't understand that concept but nevertheless it is an actuality that your inside world projects what's going on outside and this is the nitty gritties of this change of these two worlds because most people try to accumulate accumulate stuff on their outside world or do things to make changes on the outside world which is stupid I'm just going to be in your face which is stupid because it's not real if you want to make any sort of changes it's from the inside so end of this world the change of the world now some people think that you know after Christmas everything's going to go back to normal but no this is the end of the world as you know it most people have heard all those Hollywood films end of the world 2020 what they meant was this they knew right many people knew that you know come on now 2020 the end of the world and then a virus comes out you know oh that virus is so clever so the virus knew that it was supposed to come out at 2020 come on now but regardless end of the world means the end of the world as you know it since this virus everything has completely changed and it's not going back in fact it's going to get worse I'm going to be in your face there's going to be more job losses they've already predicting um 99 percent of people are going to be poor right <coughs> um there's going to be more suicides there's going to be more depressions they're going to be more um more people more job losses obviously the first set of when they came out with the quarantine and all the shops uh, well most of the businesses were closing now this time round it's definitely going to hit hard they're definitely going to be um far more people losing jobs and because of people losing jobs that's going to also affect the um how people spend their money because you go, you're going to go out and do your nails you're going to do makeup you're going to buy this extra stuff so those shops are going to close as well do you see you're going to start saving your money all that extra stuff it's a snowball effect of more things that are going to happen that is crap but this is very important and this is why the split of the two worlds is happening is because if you understand the concept that your world is created from inside of you then and if inside is fine then nothing on the outside can affect you and it's far bigger than what most understand i want to go into that a little bit more but first of all i want to talk about what else the planets are going to do because now till 2000 2026 i think i think it is yes neptune is in pisces why is that important because this two split in consciousness these two worlds this two whatever and i want to make this clear the split in the two worlds let's say is you're either on the 3d world right which 3d is the physical which you literally think that anything physical is your real world which is not real or you're an Im a multi-dimensional being most people say 3d 5d no it's 3d or multi-dimensional being right because neptune's going into pisces pisces 
Neptune's going into Pisces, sorry, till 2026. And the reason why that's important is because Pisces is all about the imagination, all about dreaming big, wishes, which is wishes, desires, which is once again an altered state of reality, an emotional state, which a state, a conscious level is another dimension, right? It's not a physicality, is it? Emotions, right? Neptune is exactly the same um uh, imagination dream state dreaming big wishes desires both of the neptune in pisces bush both of them till 2026 why is that important it is forcing the 3d humanity to go into the altered verse of reality the dream state the imagination state altered verse of reality i already said that you know so you come out of this just thinking it is the physical right that you understand that that's why pentacles is um the physical world kingdom my um, malkuth on the tree of life right i'll talk about the tree of life as well so that's what they're trying to do so that's what the planets are trying to shift us out of that now why is that very important it is fucking huge. I've just got to explain it once again. This world is not real. Now, if everybody was born and understood that concept, this world would be completely different. Why? Because, for example, you're born, right? I don't care if you've got no arms or legs. If you're a living being, you have intuition <laughs> insight inner knowing inner compass instincts uh what do they all start with in right so you have all this within you right why do you think you have that so that you tap within within intuition is connected with upstairs once again the multi-dimensions the multi-dimensions do you know how many planets and stars we are up there let alone people that's passed over let alone gods let alone guides but people just stay on this earthly plane listening to programs of the telly right tell lies to your vision tell lie vision programs you of a negative right but did you hear how many stuff we have on the ultra verses of reality now most say well that's not real and stuff but yes listen earth air water fire what are what are those they're all the alchemical elements and most people know whatever order they want to put them in you need all four alchemical elements to manifest your wishes and desires right now earth is this earthly plane right air air is what multi-dimensions water water is emotions emotions energy emotions which once again is emotions is what it's not a physical is it so it's air and then fire is ether once again the cosmic air so the macro the micro as above so below that's the principal law of this planet so we are all connected as one as as above so below but still people just live and think it is of the physical this is massive that you understand this concept why because this is why most are not manifesting because inside intuition internal compass which tells you what you need to do and then you connect with your like i said if you connect with your intuition you get guidance from them right your compass tells you what's going on right it your instincts tells you to come away from 
trouble or you've just got a feeling not to go out somewhere so maybe you stop that accident them lot will tell you if you you uh, you know be healthy you're going to get a disease or or you go to a job and you don't have to go to that job just to do it because you need the money because you can manifest your own wishes and desires would there be starving children if you can manifest your own food into your reality would there be crime because of people kill up someone because of envy and hate because they've got more than what they've got there would be nothing like that you wouldn't need to go out and fight for anything people go out there with um pickets people go and and um, protest people go and do all that but if everyone understood this concept of what these planets are trying to do is to say that look humanity all you have to do everyone has it who is living beings right if you go and you go within and you make sure that your inside world is real is working is happy right because this planet right not real but is working is happy is everything's fine with it right then outside will be fine it's not the eyeballs this eyesight is so limited it's unreal it's unreal if you intuition connects with upstairs upstairs is the sky all seeing eye is the sky then you can you could manifest whatever you want so when people go and they protest against people starving or they go and volunteer or they go and donate or they go in and let's um do a what is it a, a petition that's external once again the physical world this is what this planet's trying to do make us understand no you connect with your multi-dimension if everybody on this world understood that concept which is being programmed for us not to understand that so we are enslaved and follow programs of others then there would be no war why would someone fight another country why if you could i'll ask you a question if you could have what you wanted and everyone would answer that question why would there be any starving war or anything that's going on why would there be diseases and things that are perceived as a negative if you could create it if you tapped in upstairs and cancer is the most number one disease out there right cancer is connected with stress stress is because most people don't know how to manifest the other top known killer is heart attacks did you hear that heart because most aren't following their heart they're going to jobs that they don't want to do another thing that people do which is which is once again incorrect they go to uh doctors acupunctures now I'll, I'll explain reiki they get crystals they find about past life they find about projections of future the galactic everything happens now and now is connected with upstairs so all these things are not needed because how is that anything that you get outside of you isn't helping you on the inside and once again it's like you don't need to go pick it you don't need to get this crystal you don't need to go and get a uh, find out about your person's love language you don't need to go and find out about you know well oh my my neck hurts i found this person who, who you know says breathe through your nose and then walk barefooted in nature and hug some fucking trees you don't need to do anything like that right because them lot will tell you listen sophia you need to get healthy eat some bread, veg Sophia you put you lot ignore it that's all you that you lot do is just ignore it you don't need it now I'm not saying to go and get all your crystals and chuck them in the bin I'm saying to you that where do you stop I'll ask you right where do you stop how many pdfs are there how many things do you want to read how many uh, uh, spiritual advisors do you have to listen to how many books how many right courses do you need to go on how many crystals do you need to buy how many tarot decks how many advices do you have to listen to what gurus are you listening to next do you get what i'm saying no 
you you have everything within you you don't need to buy anything you don't need to fight anything you don't need to protest against anything if everyone understood that concept then everyone would be perfectly happy because you are unique so you would not manifest what someone else wanted so there would be no competition there would be no wars there would be no fight there would be no starvation because you could um, manifest your own food there would be no hatred there would be no nothing because you would love yourself and anything that comes into the reality as you know as when you're a child there is no hatred there's no racism there's no anger you're just happy so if you can continue away of being brought up and knowing how to tap within to manifest your own wishes and desires as a child you would continue growing through life and be happy abundant and free this is what this two worlds is about you must understand that understanding this world how you live on this world and what this world is about is massive that's why I always, and I don't understand why other tower readers don't, don't do about Kabbalah and the tree of life. Kabbalah is the story of this universe, how, to, how this world works. It's connected with tarot. You're connected with tarot as a twin flame. And why we love tarot is because tarot is the truth. The goddess tarot, Taruth, is... Um, high priestess once again high priestess insight inner knowing intuition connecting you with the cosmic as above so below most people just live below as above so below but tarot is connected with goddess taro tara taruf which is truth the goddess of truth right and we are alien star seeds light beings palladians whatever name or being you are from the stars right star seeds so we're alien beings aliens unless you're a negative alien being but aliens on this planet um the light beings let's say a lot beers of light are in truth upstairs is all about truth right this planet the lowest condensed lowest frequency planet is manipulated this earthly plane is manipulated other planets you're in truth right so the tarot is like I said is the story of your life and connected with the high priestess who has the book of tarot taruf and the story of your life the tarot is called the fool's journey the fool's journey is what a fool is someone who doesn't know so you are here to learn what I am teaching you are here to learn about this planet is simply an experience of how you project into your reality your wishes and your desires your loves from that heart space of emotions right using all the alchemical elements but you live on this earthly plane you don't need to do anything you're off earthly plane but conveniently the pentacle was on the earthly plane you need money right to live off this earthly plane that's why i'm here to get you to get your money right then you think about what you want with the swords you emotionally Im invest in that and then you passionately want fire take action on it most just live on planet earth i wish i think right i wish i can have this i wish i can have that and don't emotionally invest in it then take action on it that's why most are skin and plus they don't understand that it is a law a principal law of correspondence as above so below the macro the micro the in as within so without everything is interconnected we are all one right but still this is what this shift is about so you connect like i said with pisces neptune going in pisces is connecting us with the altered first state so that we go within and understand you don't need anything you don't need anything they tell you everything you need to know anything you wish but obviously most people have been programmed of a negative that's why nothing happens into your reality so 
people offer things such as, you know, books and counselling and Reiki and crystals and all this because, oh, well, I tried to manifest some money and it didn't happen. So let me put a crystal on my heart and wish that my person came and all this. It's like, no, inside world, your inside world. That's what you have to work on. How do you work on that? You have to transmute that negative out of you. It's depending, I mean, when you're born, you're pretty much put in front of the telly. Why the telly is the biggest thing of changing. Tell lie vision programs you. Tell lies to your vision. They, they put it in your face. Plus with the music, I don't, if anything, I am like most people would say well how do you live Sophia because I don't watch telly I haven't watched telly for about 10 years my mobile phone I put five pound credit on it about six months ago and I never put credit look I can obviously afford a contract right contract phone no I've got a pile of poo phone which I need because to get into my flat it rings on my mobile phone if I had one of those, you know, phones on the wall or whatever, I wouldn't even have a mobile phone, to be honest with you, because no one rings it. So I've got the, um, a shitty mobile phone just for anyone, and um, that's only for, and no one comes there. My post box is inside the flat, so the postman bo um, buzzes the buzzer to come in to drop my mail exactly i'm not in a house i'm sure if i had a house i wouldn't even have a mobile is what i'm saying and i only topped up because i got a text the other day saying that um you haven't used this put credit on this so we're going to take this number so i had to top it up so i don't use mobile phone i don't watch telly i only listen to 432 megahertz music because that's which is connected to our hearing frequency anything else is fucked up and gives you subliminal messages of more programming right so everyone will probably think well how do you live Sophia but I'm more abundant more happy I don't have hardly any negativity such as you because I connect with them because I listen to them and they answer you you just what's it you ask right and you receive you lot don't ask and when you ask you don't receive because you've got negative right they tell you I simply I'm like I want to go out Tell me the best time so I don't have to see so many people on the street wearing the masks, right? Because if they're all walking down, they're looking depressed and I don't want to get pulled in. They tell me, Wednesday, three o'clock. They tell you. They tell you. They told me, do this video. They tell me, open up my YouTube channel and do tarot cards. They tell you as well. The difference is you don't listen. You avoid it you use distractions they would say don't go out don't go out and then your friend will phone and then you'll forget what they say right that you 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 don't listen to it and that's understandable because 98 percent of you is negative you have to understand that this shift in consciousness is about you understanding about how you live on this planet the top of the tree of life is manifestation, the magician card. Um, then it is the um, the justice, which is the balance. You have to have balance within to have balance without. It's just how it is, right? Inside. If you don't like your outside world, the physical, right? Inside, you work on. If you have pain in your body, on the physical body, then you remove, transmute that negative and then them lot will say to you, listen, don't go out, right, because of it's not safe. Or, listen, don't do this because, you know, you you know, they'd be saying, for example, elbow, oh, elbow, and you'll go, what's wrong with the elbow? And you'll research the elbow and you'll think, oh, I've got a pain in the elbow. And you they tell you, that's what I'm saying. That's intuition, insight, inner knowing, right? That's what you get. And everyone has that. Everyone, this is how powerful people are. If everybody was like me, it sounds vain, I don't care. If everyone done what I done and worked on themselves, everyone will have the ability of such enlightenment and such a high frequency energetic being you could light up a city. 
a city. That's how powerful people are. You don't need anything. And how many people, galactic entities, stars, planets up there to help you as well? This is what this change is about. This is what you are here to teach people that, to teach other people. You don't need to volunteer. You don't need to go and give your money to charity. You don't need to everyone. Where do you stop? Where do you stop? Because it's not about that. You could do that so much on the external world. But if everyone, like I said, knew how to create their own world, there would be no starving, no hatred, no wars, no none of that. And that's what this is about. So when people say you're selfish, you're accumulating money for yourself. No, you're teaching people how to live of this world. Because this planet's world, Malkuth, is pentacles. To live of this world, you need your pentacles, but your world is within. If everyone understood that concept, this world would be better. This is what this change is about. So hopefully you understand that. Now, I'm going to be offering um, everyone who books um, a tower reading and uh, with a twin flame program, or tower reading with the master program or tower reading with the sex program right i'm going to chuck in the kabbalah and money and universal law they go hand in hand that's to anyone on the subscription list i want you to understand the how you live of this reality like i said the kabbalah is vital that it is the story of life tarot is the fool's journey which is a story of life Tarot, Taruf is high priestess who is intuition, inner knowing, inner guidance. Come on now, you lot need to know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I've already proven to you lot. I've said to you, tell me someone else that was has been saying that this virus would be coming back before Christmas to stock up. I get the guidance. I'm no different than you. So I want to offer you that for free. Kabbalah is £80, Money and Universal Law is £30. You book me if you so choose or go book anyone on the subscription list. Like I said, a, a tower reading and the Twin Flame program, a tower reading and the Master program, a tower reading and um, the Sex program, right? Go and book that and then um, they chuck it in for, for free because of... You need to know how to live on this world and the changes is happening. Hopefully you could see, unless I'm the elite secret society, how would I know that the virus was coming back? Because I connect with them lot. And I'm telling you, this is the end of the world as you know it. And I haven't been telling you that. Go and look at 2020 films. They're all end of the world. Yeah, the year 2020 is the end of the world, right? And also... Like I said, you, you don't, I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. You see that the, it's changed. It is the end of the world. So there's going to be more job losses. This second time is going to hit more people, right? The first time was bad enough. The second time it's going to knock people out. And it's not only about losing jobs. People thinking, okay, I'll lose my job. Think about that. Then you haven't got a job. Then you go to others to help, right? Then you're going to stop doing nails, um, doing your hair going to the gym going to do you're going to stop doing the things that what what people have been doing having that luxury of just using that job right as a, a um as a, a crutch so now they're gonna when you haven't got the job it's not only losing the money then they're going to downsize and they're going to stop spending on so more shop you know hairdressers nail shops all those extra little bitty shops all those things that you are going to go because no one's going to be buying these extra things hat shops wedding shops who's going to afford to get married they're going to just get second hand wedding dresses it's going to be a massive effect so the very least book I, I i could i could simply say just go and buy the kabbalah no i want you to know about the twin flame journey why you're you're supposed to be teaching what i'm teaching you are a master teacher this is the stuff which you need to know right so that's why i said book those programs so you can learn how to transmute it as well 
the twin flame, the sex program, the master program is all about transmuting that negative energy. The Kabbalah and universal law teaches you about how to live off this planet and what um, about how to get your money. So I hope this has been beneficial for you. I'm out and speak to you later.